Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. And I'm uh, just taking a look at what we got going on here and yeah, we got quite a bit going on. I was actually uh, thinking about what we're going to do today. Uh, a couple of things I actually want to do and I'm actually going to leave this running for now just because I want to get some research going. Uh, a few things I want to do. One, we're going to actually do this right now and because I need to research this. We're going to go ahead and pause this. Uh, what I, we need, I want to start doing is getting into oil right uh oh i should mention there has been an update uh since last i played uh if we go in here there's actually new things we can make now there's carbon carbon is just ref running coal through a refiner like coal, refined coal through a refiner again and get you carbon uh then you have uh, ionized capacitors you run just capacitors through a refiner uh that gets that's water powered and you get the ionized capacitors and then the gold plates it's gold and steel plates in a combiner with water to get gold plates and then there's mega fuel and that's gold fuel and other stuff and then there's carbon meal and all sorts of fun stuff but uh, we do have to research some of that pretty soon here because uh, to get the oil der derelict I gotta research gold fuel now I'm actually set up right here to do this gold fuel this is Needless to say, it's a mess, but we can do something with it. I'll just keep it going for now. And then, of course, down to the cargo rocket. Uh, there's also something I want to do over here. I want to sort of get the steel production going a little bit more. And actually, now that I think about it, getting the gold fuel set up over going here will actually work because I want to take all, this, all the iron deposits. There's, I'm sorry, there's three of them here. There's three of them over here. There's a couple more over here. And then there's also, where is it, where is it? There's another four of them over here. So what I want to do is I actually want to take this whole factory here and leave it the way it is, but I'm going to take all the refining refiners out, all the crate makers and all that stuff. This is going to be combiners only. I'm going to have two, fac two other factories down here. Uh, one's going to be down here about eight blocks wide and the full length and that's going to be for the coal and then there's going to be another one over here for the iron and it's going to basically be mass production it's going to all going to be fed into here and then i'm just going to leave this rail line set up now regarding the silos uh, i do know that the silo doesn't have to be in the loading area like uh, on my first playthrough or my other playthrough there uh, when i got into the trains i had a train going going through here through the loading area and then I went across water and went into a cliffside over here and I had nothing over here but I just put a bunch of silos here and I had a 15 car long train the problem is, is it took over a month to load the thing so yeah I won't be doing that but I do have a I am going to redesign this setup I'm going to leave the number of silos here but I'm going to change the, the loading of the tanks only one silo is going to be feeding uh, the rest of the tanks are all going to be feeding sort of daisy chain so the uh, the mine carts will I'll probably have the, the the loading hopper down or silo down here, so that way the mine cart can load up at this point and have them all funneled down in this direction into the silo. Let's keep the other ones there. But anyways, uh, enough rambling. Uh, I do realize I have claws here that are doing nothing and trucks waiting for no load, but I don't care. Uh, also, the train issue is going to be of a problem too because I would like to get a train going over here because I was thinking about getting uh, the gold fuel mass produced. Uh, the problem with the train is I'm very limited to where I can place an entrance and that's about as close as I can get right there. Now if I place one there, I could place one here and that's about it. So yeah, it's kind of limited to where you can do it and then kind of regret having them so close like this but it works. Uh, I could replace this one with another one but that means an means put placing another one about here you can probably see the red outline well no it's white but yeah basically it has to be there and that's just to be able to put another one over here over here so, but anyways uh we'll be getting to the cargo rockets in no time i guarantee it who called bullshit on that one anyway uh, let's get this gold fuel set up so i have looked at what i gotta do i don't have to do anything other than just move a few things around in here and i'm gonna do something smart here first i'm gonna get rid of these uh, uh, ah whatever don't need it anyways 
but I'm going to get rid of leave that tank there. And then what I do is I'm actually going to color it. Okay, I'm using the yellow for the steel, so I'm going to change that to green. Change this one, to, or cyan. Change this one to green. And then on the combiner, uh, if I find the right parts here, it's been a little while since I played the game. I have going in like that. I have one of these there, one of these there, and that's it. As soon as I'll have to claim these, as soon as they got nothing inside, then I can start going on. Let's actually see if that's all set up ready to go. Should be. And you're not going anywhere. So it should work as soon as the clock comes with some gold. Okay, hang on, it's nope, wrong button. Oh, ah, I was gonna turn drum priority off on that. Anyway, let's make sure we're actually doing this. We'll go ahead and claim that. And I do believe the gold fuel has considerably higher research value than steel. What are you researching? Oh, that's the coal. Get that out of there. Is this a bug? Hang on a second here. Gold fuel. Oh, I think it still had content, that's why. Hmm. Let me try something here. I'm going to destroy them and rebuild them. Okay, it seems to be working now. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I did notice that the cart was going back with some gold fuel in it, so... Yeah, uh, I need coal. Where is the coal? I believe that's coal there, yes. Okay. Uh, okay, you guys worry about nothing. I probably just get rid of this whole line. I don't even think this is getting me too much, really, because I was going to put another train line in. So, goodbye, drones. Maybe. Uh, anyway. That is researching, that is good. Uh, is there a way you can actually set the minecarts to go every other? Let's try that. And then I'm not throwing with those too much. Anyway, that is going to keep going. So let us start building another factory. Start spending money. Alright, so. I was going to do eight, I'm going to try to keep centered with this, and I was going to leave a three space, block space, one, two, three, don't have to, but going to anyways, we're going to go the full length, three, four, six, eight. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that, uh, we were at the limit on the power, <laughs> oops, that's not a problem. We're going to have to build a lot more of these eventually. That's wrong spot, and that was the wrong thing. I know what I'm doing, don't worry. At least that's what I tell myself all the time. And I tell you guys, and I don't think anybody leaves me. Uh, how is that actually doing? So I'm going to be building another factory. Uh, well, we'll deal with it when the time comes. Anyway, so there is that one. Actually, I should pause this again because I have to take out some power lines here. Uh, get the right button here. I don't think it's really necessary to make that sound when the game's paused, but sure. Okay, so is that lined up? Yes. Okay, go all the way down. All of that. Just perfect. Just enough space. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what is your problem? Oh yeah, no, no exit, no entrance, no exit, and I gotta get the power grid resituated. Uh, are you actually gonna connect? Yes, you are. 
Good to know. All right, so now uh, get that going again. So now what I want to do is I want to get sort of like a central. I love seeing that going. That's how you know a train's going out is when you see that going. Uh, it's just like 40 grand every time. All right, so I sort of want to keep. My idea was to have. Trying to get to 12 refiners coming off of one tank. So it's going to take a big tank like so. I do want to ha do have to have a loading area. And I also do have to have a main storing, storage tank where mining carts can get to. Hold on, let me think about this for a sec. Okay, so change plans. I decided to make one big giant factory. This is the largest size, size just because I can. Uh, that and I also have to realize I have a probably about eight minecart lines I have to come have coming in bringing in the iron for instance this one down here now I don't want to demolish the building so what I might do uh, this is something I actually wondered can the minecart track actually go over the factories since I don't actually need the iron over here anymore I'm going to take this out and then we'll go to here, we'll take this one, level two. Oh, there's no level three on this, is there? No, that's a shame, but that's fine. Because I can still go this way. So we'll take this one. Oh, what did I do? I have no idea. Is that a good place for it? No, yeah, it's good. That's fine. It will not block the drones, but I want to have it right next to the building there. See how that looks. Perfect. Good enough for me. All right, so that's one iron. Okay, the other iron's over here. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have iron on one side, coal on the other. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, where was the other iron? The other iron was over here. And also start to get this one. All set up. Same thing. I love how the miners just snap to it. Okay, so let me hook these up and I'll be right back. Okay, I think that is everything. I haven't hooked this into the system yet because I don't know if we're going to need it or not. But I have this coal going into here. Let's uh, open up the factory and I'll show you what's going on. So this coal, uh, this coal, and this one. Uh, I've separated these two lines just because this wasn't actually getting picked up because it was always coming back full. So I got one full train of 20, 20 mine carts going down to here. Uh, another train of 10 carts, which is here. Picking up that coal. And then this one here, there's only two miners, but it's coal, right? Uh, there's another spot there, but I can get a miner on it, but I can't connect to the re actually really pick it up because the train entrances are in the way. Anyway. So that is that. So coal on this side, iron on this side. Uh, there's only three coal because that real big spot I have out there. Uh, as far as the iron goes, this iron is going in on uh, this line here. The iron that's over here is going over to here. Uh, oh, I didn't hook this one up to water. I was going to do that. Um, and I'll show you the other one in a second. Let me see if I can get this all piped up. Oh, you're going to be like that, are you? Hmm. How will I do this? Oh, I won't do it that way. Let me figure this out. Okay, well then. Oh, zoomed out too far. Alright, so yeah, we got water going there. That's going to give us a little bit more iron. I got water set up. And then what I've done over here, they got them all set up. I actually was able to get them in one container except for this little guy here. They're all watered, so that is more iron coming through. So we have those four, uh, those two, three, these guys over here, and then those ones over here. So we might have to start bringing these four coal up here, but we'll see. All right, so now we got to get into a central storage facility or storage area. 
So I'm going to take a couple of big tanks here. There's actually a lot of room. This might actually work. Uh, I also have to keep in mind too that I got to be able to have space for them to be dumped off. So maybe... Hmm. Well, actually what I should be doing is see about where I'm going to be having the refiners. Uh, yeah, refiners. And it doesn't really matter where they go because these kinds are going to be coated. So I think that should work. So if we do that, we'll do... We'll do yellow for... I should know. We'll do the blue for the coal. Okay, so that is that. Now let's see how many crate makers I can make out, get on here. Well, not crate makers, refiners. I'd like to get four crate makers and 12 refiners if I can. Let me see if I can find the right things here. So I've been thinking about it. I might be able to do... Let's actually see how many spaces these take. These take two. So 12 of these would be eight spaces. Really? Hmm. You get the idea. So let me get this set up and I'll be right back. Okay, I came up with an idea, but it's not going to work at a big building. I will have to split the building into two. All right, uh, it occurred to me I could be using uh, these things. So for instance, I could have, uh, let's say, for instance, unprocessed going in into the crate maker because you can feed these in with pipes right and this will feed out into three refiners and those will come out here and they'll get sucked into the green container now the problem is though we only have two colors for one factory so that'd be for the coal for the iron I only have one color I can use to have the same setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart and start it over. And I think I should have room to go overkill and I'll get it set up with uh, 18 refiners on each side. So I shall be right back. Okay, I'm done. Like both factories all set up. Uh, I'll show you what I've done here. Uh, it doesn't really matter about the same thing, but they both have 18 refineries coming off of six craters and a double storage on the containers. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to work or not because you can only color code one tank. Like, I can't have two of them the same color. So what I'm doing is, this is the main tank. It is feeding into this tank, which is feeding back into this tank. So hopefully this acts as a double storage. And this is just for just for backlog, just, just in case. So this is the coal side, this is the iron side, and what I'm doing is I'm having green as the inputs, right, on both sides, green as the inputs, and then the output is going to be the actual color that is the input on this side. Alright, so this is all set up, i got the mine carts set up for now, I'm probably just going to end up staying those tracks a little bit more, maybe, because I will need to have a rail coming in, a train coming in here, so let's... Let's do that. I'll try to get them as close as I can. Actually, which train? Which one is that? That one can stay short. That's that's the long train right there. So let's take that out and give it a little bit of an arc. That's a long train. I'll bring it right to there. And this one is, it's a 10 car train. So we'll probably have that right next to this one here. Doesn't need to be as long, but as long as it, it's able to drop everything off, that's all that really matters. And yeah, that is that. Okay, and then uh, let's check this side. So now I gotta get the collection points all set up on here. So this one isn't that big of a train. This is coming from over here. Uh, I think we can put a couple more cars on this one. Because we only have three. Let's go six. Why not? Okay, this one here has none. Because it was inside here when I <laughs> disconnected the line. 
All right, uh, hmm. How much room do I have there? Not much. No, actually, yeah, I got room. If we take that out. And we just try to curve it as much as possible. I'll give me as much room as I can, and I think... I think for here... It's got three miners, it's... Let's go four, just because we can. And then everything else should be set up. So that's four cars. Gotta get a collection point set in, set up. And that's gonna be basically... Uh, same old thing for these here, with uh, an input for the green, like that, and the rails, so let me get that done and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to make a few modifications, uh, just because these trains here are going to be very long. Well, that was only 12. Why is that only 12? That is, that's going to have to be 20. Okay, and this one's gonna have to be, this one's not going as far, this is just going over here, so let's go for 16 right now. Okay, that is that. So now all it's have to do is to get all this stuff into here. Now, that means I gotta take all the stuff that is refining, just leave the combiners, like so. So now, we gotta, we already have our storage tank, so I'm going to try to do the same thing like I did before, where I have it doubled up. So let's get a couple more tanks, one and two, and actually place that the other way. And the right spot. Like that. Be nice if these things would only snap to ports that you couldn't just place them anywhere because you can't use them for anything else but transferring from here. All right, so yeah, we got our yellow and we got our blue. So that one's going to be going into. Let's see, make sure we get this right. Okay, that's going into blue. And this is going into yellow. And all that's really left is to get the trains in here. All right, not the trains in here, but get a train from in here and in here out to there. Okay, so that should be pretty straightforward, to be honest. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, you can't go in the second up. Go in through the second floor. Oh, what do you know? I just happened to have a door. Oh, door there. I don't know why they call it a door because it's. Not technically a door. Yeah, we'll just place that there for now. And let's see how we are looking. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and place a door on this factory here. Like so. Get our good old minecart truck. And. Doesn't really need to go far, but it's going to be producing a lot. And I do plan on getting a lot more refiners going, or combiners. Okay, then we do un unload. And nope, 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 nope. Uh, this is blue. Okay. And then we go over to this side. Get more minecarts going in. And... Yeah, pretty much in here, just like that. And I'll get the iron going here, so let me take care of this and I'll be back in a moment. All right, that, that should be it. So I've got the, yeah, intake there, intake there. Uh, I was actually thinking about increasing steel storage here. So we'll do the same thing, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just get two of them for now. You know, it's a real shame they don't have a, a two block long. You know, so many games, you always call them blocks. Right, perfect. Uh, 
well, yeah, why there's only a one out of three and not a two because I go to hook up these miners and you know it's always a two block gap. It's like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, so that is done. That should be up and running. So the only left to do is uh, reconfigure this. And my idea for this was. this I'm gonna take uh, all these tanks out and like I said I'm gonna daisy chain them uh, I don't like I said I'm not gonna make the train too long I'd rather have four trains going more frequent than uh, four trains taking forever to go it takes three months just to get the paycheck from that I'm gonna take those out and then just place a couple of tanks in Hmm. We should have that line up with the last one here. Take all this out. Your small tanks. And one block just so I can connect them. And just enough room. On that one, I'll have to move everything. But that's basically what I'm going to do, and then I'm just going to have uh, all these feeding into here, and go from there. Originally I was using these as uh, just uh, a buffer, but we're fairly close, we're producing a lot, I can get bigger trains. So it's not that bit of a, bit of a, big of an issue if uh, the silos are empty. Uh, as long as the train gets loaded up, that's all that matters. So let me, well that's basically what I'm doing right here so yeah so the, the minecart dumps into here these all funnel down into here and fill up this silo and that is what loads up the train uh, I should have more than adequate space these are 40 a piece oh yeah no problem so let me repeat this three more, three more times and we'll get the show up and run okay I think we're ready to roll Get a little jumpy when I start recording, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, so I got it all set up. I had to rebuild it twice because I forgot these things only snap to a certain grid, which is the same grid tile as the factories. So I go and place the tanks, and oh, they don't line up. So I had to place the silo, take the silos out, replace them, and then place the tanks down. But everything's good, everything is powered. We are doing pretty good. We're actually getting pretty close to another power plant here pretty soon. But yeah, let's uh, unleash the magic. Ooh, wow, that got laggy. <laughs> it definitely got laggy. So yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time. So basically what I've done uh, with, uh, oh yeah, you don't see my mouse because I was holding tab. But basically what I've done with the, the claw tracks or whatever these things are, uh, transfer claw. Uh, the first one skips every two, and the, the one behind it skips every one. So this skips two, this one will skip one. So the two will go through, this will take one of those, and then goes into the refinery, and then they all sort of funnel into two, just to keep things rolling. I have this all of these set to destroy all crates, just in case. Because every once in a while you get one going through and it doesn't make it all the way through. Oh! oh look what I forgot to do. There you go. Alright, the other guy going through. Yes, he is. That's our first iron going through. It's not much because we got to wait for that train all the way over here. Oh, look at him. He's loading up now. Ooh. I'm going to have to extend that track, I think. I'm kind of wondering about that. In fact, before he gets away, turn back, please. That's a lot of iron there. Maybe a lot of coal. So let's see how we're doing. This seems to be working. I should have a balanced load in each one. 
one and one. Good. And yep, yeah, more or less. So let me run, let this run for uh, a few minutes, and I shall return. Okay. Well, I've had to extend the trains a little bit, as you can see. Uh, needless to say, with full 20 car trains going back and forth just between these two buildings, the combiners are chewing through it like there's no tomorrow. Like, look at this, all it goes through, and, and I've got 12 car trains bringing them out to uh, the main silos there. Uh, I was actually wanting to pay attention to this train here, see if the track was too long. Not that it really matters when we're going through it so fast. Uh, could use a little bit more coal. Iron we got plenty of, so that's not a problem. I might actually have to try to find a way to get more of this going over here. Maybe a second train, because we're maxed out unless I do that for 200,000. is isn't really worth to consider. We need 2 million for the oil derelict dirt. Anyway, we have research. Okay, that just got there. I need a hundred of oil, let those fill up. Uh, I have been keeping an eye on the coal, just grabbing whatever I can while it's going. Uh, but, how are we doing for the numbers? Not that great, because we haven't really been producing a whole lot. See, then you get, oh yeah, because uh, I think the hopper ha uh, silo has to actually be full in order for it to pick up. So what are we short on? I also noticed too, depending on which side the port is on, it'll favor that one. Just barely holding up. Yeah, iron shortage. Iron shortage. All right, let's let's do this. Let's get a few more cars on. Uh, minecart speed and now that's not going to help me much let's do that all right so now i can get two more that should help that situation a little bit we'll let that go oh hitting space again always in the habit of games always hitting space to go up Okay, that's actually doing pretty good. We could, well, no, he's not picking up because these are filling up. That's full, that's full, that's full. These are, they are running, aren't they? Yep, they are. Incomplete, incomplete, complete synchronism. Yeah, I can't talk today. But, that uh, is, uh, I think, uh, definitely if we can get some more combiners going, get some more of this steel go or iron going over, and then maybe bring this up. Uh, let me... Ooh. This is getting late. Uh, let me check the recording time here. Well, I think it's a, about a good time to, as any to, to end the episode. It's actually a lot later for me than I thought. Believe it or not, this took a lot of work. Well, not necessarily a lot of work. Took some time, uh, not to mention rebuilding a few things a few times, but it's a little more uniform. Uh, productive, but not as productive as it should be. So uh, I'm actually surprised we're getting so much iron. So then that means next episode, uh, uh, next episode we'll get the coal in, and then we'll probably get a better production for the, the gold fuel. Uh, that stuff, uh, that stuff, yeah. Because soon we're going to be getting into oil. And that's what we need. We need 200,000, 2 million research for that. Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> hard one to chew. But it's getting there. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.